finally you fucking did something right. Jesus Christ, woman. <laughs> well, well, let us know when you're going to fucking go live. Yeah. Are we live? We are live? Yeah, it tells fucking Lunatic Froggy, shut the hell up because the old men are about to be in session. Golly, that damn girl can't shut the hell up. Gotta let us go ahead and talk. Everybody, welcome to the freaking old man show, which is with my boy, Lunatic Roy, Lunatic Dad. We're gonna hash it up. We're gonna bust it down. We're going to let everybody know what the hell we think of the government and the way it is now and the way it was when we were younger and coming on up and everything else. Let me start it off by saying, Lunatic Roy, I am blessed to have you with me one-on-one -on -one talking some real fucking shit. Give me hell yeah! Hell yeah. Let's get out of the way, though. Let <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go ahead and blow out your fucking eardrums. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. I, I, I do that to a lot of people. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, where would you like to start on this? Uh, I You want me to begin it or you to begin it? You go ahead and begin it now. Step in. All right. All right. Well, first off, I want to say the way the government is right now, uh, we might as well go ahead and have socialism. We might as well go ahead and have dictatorism. Due to the fact is neither party can fucking get along to go ahead and serve the American people. They don't give a fuck about you or me or anybody out there. They are just about the fucking self-interest groups. They're nothing but to me or nothing but people that just are. What's the difference between a scammer and a damn politician? Nothing. They just want to go ahead and get inside that damn uh, House or the Senate or the presidency. I don't give a shit what damn president you go for. Democrat, Republican, they're all full of shit. They are not out there for the American people. They don't give a shit about us. Back in my day and in Roy's day, government actually worked together. Okay? They actually worked together. JFK, to me, the greatest president ever known to fucking man. Greatest president. They're working for the people, not for the government. And where did he end up? He ended up, end up getting fucking assassinated. Exactly. Why? Because he was for the people. And all these special interest groups, all these uh, Luminatis, and all these damn people that got all this damn money and everything else, they don't want the middle class or the poor to come up. They want to go ahead and keep us all down so that the rich get richer and the poor well, get poorer. Well, that's because the poor people are actually making the money for the rich people. So, why, so do, why do they want to take the poor people and raise them up? Because then that ain't going to make them money. And the, the, that's the whole them. It's like right now they're talking about bringing over another 50,000 immigrants to the United States. Exactly. And how many veterans and how many homeless people do we have here in the United States that are literally cannot eat, cannot go ahead and clo even clothe themselves, wash themselves, nothing, that they're out there having to beg and everything else. Hey, can you give me some spare change? Can you give me this? Uh, whatever the case may be. Now, what the thing that bothers me most is that the same fucking federal government that we got, they'll go ahead and put our, our armed forces and everything else out there to go ahead and fight for our freedom and everything else. They come back home, and what does the federal government do? Let them be fucking homeless and everything else. There should never, ever be ever be fucking homeless people in the United States. And there should never be anybody fucking hungry in the United States. We waste more food than any fucking country ever known to fucking man. The thing is, what they do, they get, like I say, they bring them over here, they get two to three years of no taxes at all, then once they get, and I haven't talked to a couple of them, once they get paid after so long, they go back home because they live like kings now. Now, what do you feel about taking treasure? And now, now, now this is all tying it together, Lunatic, Lunatic Roy, my brother. Yeah. Taking money out of the American economy, going ahead and putting it back into another country and everything else. Wrong. I think they should take care of their own country before they worry about anybody else. That's the, I, that's the I agree. Right there. I mean, it's like I said, after they come over take our jobs and all mm -hmm. and everything yep they 
But it's like the state, when the state steps in and they do all that, they give them health care, they give them everything under the tree, fine. If they want to come over, that's cool. I don't have nothing against that, but they should be just treated the exact same as we are. Mm -hmm. They have to um, get a job. They've got to do all this. they got to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, brother, you are touching the sore spot here. Yep. Yep. They don't pay taxes. We pay their taxes. Yep. And we house their ass. Yep. We house their ass. We feed their ass. Everything else. And Let's look at the American people. We get in there. Oh, how many people you got in the household with food stamps? Oh, I don't know. You can do that. You get these other ones in there. They get a household. How many you got in there? 16? Oh, we give you this much more. Yep. Yep. And, it, and if you ever noticed that, like I said, I, I am for having, I mean, we're all immigrants to this country. Somewhere yeah. in our bloodlines down the line, we are all immigrants Immigrant. to this country. But, but. Even but, the book says, you treat your neighbor as you want to be treated. Exactly. Okay. If that's mm -hmm. the case, then why ain't they treating them the same way they do us? Exactly. Exactly. You're talking about because races and everything else. Races has nothing to do about it. It's. That green stuff. It's called money. That's right. That's right, brother. That's 100% right, my brother. Because, you know, back in our day and everything else, I mean, I, I, I can count many times, give many stories about when I seen a person that was came home from Nam and everything else, where I'd see that and they would have no legs and they're in a wheelchair and everything else. And believe it or not, the stores where I grew up at and everything else, they would literally say, come in for a free dinner, come in for a free soup mm -hmm. and everything else where they actually supported the men and women that fought for, for what we can even do right now on social media. Right now, yeah. what we're doing right now has been fought for by our predecessors or people that are my age and your age that have served and everything else. And it bothers the living hell out of me when I see people take advantage, taking advantage of hard working people and taking advantage of people that have served this country and they get looked down upon like as if they done something wrong and everything else if you remember back in the day and everything else when vietnam and they all came home and everything else people were spitting on them and everything else my brother served in nam my older brother served in nam and everything else he came home and people were calling him a baby killer fucking spitting at him and everything else and now, mind you, at this point in time, I'm a young, I'm a young little tyke, so I really didn't understand a lot of that. Okay, I really didn't understand what the hell was really going on and everything else. But again, how people go ahead and perceive the people that have given us the rights that we do have, and they continue to do it now, and 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 it just drives me fucking crazy because of the federal government wants this to happen they don't want the people to come together they don't want us to be able to get along and everything else that would be no fun for them the illuminati i'm telling you i believe in that that's that's no money doing that yep the war is mainly about the green period there the, uh, yep because you said there's like that one show i watched was where this one guy he sold guns he didn't care if it was the people on that side people on this side it's all about the green bag Government is trying to take guns from us and all, from our rights. But here yep. they are making guns for the other country. So, exactly. Yep. Uh, yep. That's what it's mainly deal is, is about money. If the war stopped, that's a big king out of their pocket. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. the whole thing about all of it. I mean, if you sit and check and look at the, the book, the green is... Number one evil everywhere. Yep. Yep. Uh, and I agree 100%. And you know, the part that kills me is because people value even money over their own families, over over their own country. I mean, they, they value this the, the dollar as if it's, it's going to make you and everything else. At the end of the fucking day, you're going to be fucking dead. You're going to be fucking buried. And that money didn't get you fucking nowhere. It's well, done. It's over. You can't be buried with the shit. Now, you look at some of these rich people. They have all this money. They get all they want in this world. How miserable are they? Exactly. Did it buy them happiness? Did it buy them happiness? happiness Hell no. Nothing to do with money. That's the issue. But it's just like 
But now back to the people who fought the war at all, when they came home, the government is supposed to take care of them at 100%. Why are, and why are they got everybody out um, getting money to help their family members and stuff like that there when the government is supposed to be taking our money and taking care of them? And why do they have to beg? It bothers the fuck out of me. Like I said, I see any veteran and everything else. People, like I said, fought for this war, and they're out there with cups. Cups, man, fucking saying, can I have some change because I need to eat? They ain't doing it for booze. They ain't doing it for drugs. They're saying, I just need to go buy myself a sandwich and something to drink. That is a fucking tragedy that our government allows this to happen. I believe that our government for the veterans should go ahead and have free health care across the board and they can go anywhere, not just to the VA, not just to the VA. And take your choice. They should be able to have uh, every person that has ever served three, four thousand dollars a month given to them because they that three, four thousand dollars ain't shit because they almost put their life on the line and could have been taken off this God green earth and everything else. Give them fucking housing. Why can't? Why have you ever if noticed? You can give the, uh, people uh, across the, the ocean and all that homes and everything else. We should be able to take care of our own people. You fucking right. You fucking right. I agree 100%. You've got people that these veterans and everything else, you're going to sit there and tell me all this vast land we got that the government can't just say, hey, we're going to go buy fucking 300 acres of stuff or whatever the case may be. You can go in every state, go to every fucking state, see all the cornfields, all these mm -hmm. different uh, crop fields that people got the for sale signs up and everything else. Why can't you, the government start building on there and everything else? Make it a community for the veterans because you know what? What would actually help them, I think also psychologically, Lunas Croy, all right, is that when you get a lot of veterans that have been through a lot of trauma and, and they've been there, they've done that and everything else, it's kind of like an alcoholic, an alcoholic and another alcoholic, and they're trying to get sober. They can talk to each other. They can relate to each other and everything else and help each other out. Same thing with the veterans. They can help each other because they've been there, done that, and everything else. The same setup. Exactly. Exactly. But I mean, the government ain't worried about that. They're no, because, because once no. they lose their legs, they, they end up fighting the war. They ain't making the money. Well, mm -hmm. throw them to the side. Let's get somebody else out there. Let's let them go through the same thing. As soon as it, it's just like as soon as the, the, they're done, they get injured. Throw them to the side. Let's put somebody else out there. Yep, yep. They're just they are just a number. It's yeah. kind of like it's like the same thing in the jails. It's just a number. You ain't a name. You ain't a nothing. Number. You're you're just a fucking number. And that's what the people who fought for our country to the government, not to us. Now you talk okay, about, not you talk about the uh, being in jail and all that. Some mm -hmm. of the people in jail get taken care of better and then our. Mm -hmm. Because at least they get a three meals a day. They get yep. all that stuff, but our guys that sh got shot, people got killed, and they also in the army and all, are tossed to the side. They don't yep. get all the time three quarters meals, three meals, and all that. They got to be yep. out there begging for it. Why? Our government ain't there for it. I agree 100%, brother, because, you know, like I said, I mean, me and you are older gentlemen, okay? We're almost the same fucking age and everything else. And the shit that you've seen and the shit I've seen and everything else over a long extended period of time and everything else, it, it makes my skin cringe and everything else. Like I said, they want to, you know, just basically rewrite history. I mean, people want to rewrite history. I mean, I cannot believe the federal government, regardless which side you stand on, even with the statues taking them down with Lee and all this. Sorry, but that is, you got to know. In order to know where the fuck you're going, you got to know where you've been. And that's the way I even teach my own fucking kids. You better know your past, your history, and everything else. So some of the bad shit that happened in the past, the only way you're going to learn by it is knowing about it. But when you wipe it off the books and you wipe off everything, how are these kids ever going to know or anybody coming up ever going to fucking know about about the past you're never going to know it uh, and and but the past repeats itself it keeps repeating itself i mean the the only thing i can say i have a couple of nephews that just came home from the military and they served and everything one's a sergeant i actually had him on a, a video 
on my channel and everything else. And he actually they did they they take care of him really good. They I mean the kid they gave him almost thirty five hundred dollars as a set thing because he was in the military over eight years, and he's got thirty five hundred and everything else and for for the rest of his life every month. Okay, he got taken care of. But what about all the the vets and everything that were in the long long time ago that. And, you know, their, their families and everything else saying, hey, my dad's out there. I see him. You know, he gave up his legs. He gave up his arms. Some of them lost their fucking minds. You know, they, they leave out to the war. They come back and everything else. And all of a sudden, it's a totally different human being and everything. I mean, you hear about it all the time. I mean, a lot of people don't know shit about Agent Orange. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of these young people, you ask them about Agent Orange, they'll be like, what? Is that some type of color? No, you dumb motherfuckers. Look it up. Look it up. It, it fucked people up bad. In Vietnam, it fucked people up very bad. Very bad. You know, but I also say this, Roy. You know, there is, to me, the federal government, the federal government, I really do believe in my heart that it is designed to keep the people down instead of designed to, it was originally designed to lift the people up, to help, to help and everything. But now with this chaos that we got going on now, my brother, is sickening. It is sickening to me. I mean, like I said, I don't give a shit if you're a Democrat, Republican, Trump, Biden, or whatever. I don't give a shit. It, 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 trust me, they're just different names and titles. But they all got the same fucking agenda. It's to keep the middle class and the poor people down and, and serve their special interests. That's something I've been bitching about forever on my channel. When there was only so many people in the government, not these billions of people. I mean, it's yeah. ridiculous. I mean, you go in there and you serve so many years and you retire off of these dollars a month. And it's like, what the? Amen. Uh, and that, uh, exactly. They're getting paid all this money and everything else, and when they leave out. But yet, guys like me and you, I can work my whole fucking life for them. I get fucking peanuts and everything on my fucking retirement and everything else. Just okay. enough to fucking live on. And these cocksuckers going ahead, and they're not only get, getting... Think about this, Roy. Think about this. How many of these politicians and presidents, everything, after they get out of office and they get $5 million book signings, $5 million speech for a 10-minute fucking speech... Are you kidding me? No, that's just a fucking payback. That is the payback from the special interest because they couldn't do it when the president was in office. But hey, come speak for 10 minutes. Remember what you did and everything we appreciated. Here's 10 million. And don't think that doesn't happen. It happens all the time. All the time. But that's that's their way to juke the system. Though. They pocket all that money that they get folks to get in there free. I mean, mm -hmm. I've it's just ridiculous how much money they get just for setting and voting on items. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, the thing. That's all they do is vote. And yep. And, you know, I was I was having a discussion with my wife, and we were talking about, you know, as far as, like, people starving in America and everything else. I said, woman, do you realize all this money they've given to Ukraine and across this world and everything else? They could end hunger Right now, as we say them words, end hunger, they can end it like that. I mean, just oh, instantly. Yeah. Done. Why doesn't the federal government want to do anything to help its people? As I said, I really do believe in, I don't know if you believe in the Illuminati, if you know what that is. Oh, yeah. You know, these are just hidden people. You'll never know who the fuck they are. But they are the ones that actually run this fucking country oh, yeah. and everything else. Uh, it, it, they, the Illuminati, uh, the mafia, the drug dealers. Our government is the biggest drug dealers. I mean, oh. I've seen on that thing, uh, all of it, because what it is, oh, let's go have this big old drug bust real quick, just to take the money and put it to the other side. And we'll mm -hmm. start it again. And mm -hmm. it's just, that's that's the, our biggest deal, because if you go back and look when they made those um, moonshine movies and all, where the government always stepped mm -hmm. in and... Mm -hmm. Only reason why they didn't let it leave at that time because they wasn't getting their taxes off of it. Well, well, don't forget the times of prohibition with Al Capone and everything else. When they would take all his shit and everything else. And what do you think they were doing with it? What do you think they were doing it with it? They were making money behind the table and everything else. You know. It, and the biggest it, thing on it now, that's the reason why the pot and all that is 
get in most states where you go out to a store and buy it. Why? Because government gets a humongous taxes off of it. Look you ain't this. lying, brother. You ain't lying. It costs five cents to make a pack of cigarettes. Bad thing is, uh-huh, and mm -hmm. all, five cents. That's mm -hmm. what's taxes. Every time they got it, they find something they want to put taxes on, they do it on cigarettes, alcohol, and now it's going to be your marijuana. Oh, yo, yeah. <laughs> I mean, in my, in my home state of Illinois, they said that the state of Illinois made over $4 billion on pot sales. Yeah. $4 uh, billion, not dollars. million, billion. billion. And, and, you're, and they didn't have to do not a fucking thing, just sign it into legislation, sign it, let the other people do it, and and what happens? Pay pay your taxes. Exactly. I mean, America itself. I love this country to death. I mean, don't get me wrong. Me and Roy love our country oh, to yeah. death. These are just things that we feel that it, they can make it a lot easier, a lot better for the common man. The common man. Not the Illuminati. Not the super rich and wealthy. The middle class and the people that are actually hurting here. They could do more than that. They say, well, we give welfare. We give welfare. Listen, your little fucking peanuts that you're giving and everything to them people and everything else, it's nothing. It's nothing. As I said, the money that we spend in Ukraine alone could end all homelessness and, and people starving right now. If they took that same exact bill and distributed it out to all the families, families, like yeah. if it's just or people that are single or whatever, you get my drift, that uh, give it all out to them. I mean, you'd be surprised if someone got a check of $75,000, how much that would uplift them. You know, that would literally uplift them and be like, you know what, seventy five grand. wow, I might be able to go get myself a home. I might be able to, you know, uh, straighten out things that were going bad and everything else. No, they will not. Why would they do that? Because then you would have kumbaya here. They would, you would have kumbaya here. Oh. And, and, and that, that, the not, government well, does not want that. Taxes. It's supposed to be take care of the streets and all. How many streets out here needs to be fixed that they ain't touching? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, trust me. I drive on them fucking roads. And I know, I know, I, I, I get, listen. Uh, I'm glad I had my hemorrhoids taken out you know, and everything else. Otherwise, I'd been fucked up because I would have pushed them back in. Thank you for the doctors on that one. <laughs> seriously, seriously. I mean, because at the end of the day, like I said, federal government, the only thing that me and Roy are saying is plain and fucking simple. Look out for the United States of America. And please help our veterans they still need help i still see it out on the roads people sleeping under their i mean that one kills me that one kills me when i see that and everything else and i see the signs on there you know that they're a veteran and, everything. and like i said they ain't asking for a lot of money or whatever they're just saying hey can i get so i can have something to eat when a veteran's got to ask me for something for just to have something to eat if i can take fucking 20 30 bucks out of my pocket and just give it to them on a whim because God blessed me like that and everything else. If I can do that, then the fucking federal government could go ahead and make sure that this shit should come to an end. I'm sick and tired of the federal government mistreating our veterans, mistreating the United States of American people, and looking out for all the rich get richer and the fucking poor get poorer because the government is fucking rigged. It's but fucking see, rigged. Yeah, it's rigged, but now you also got to see these people that's on the side of the road Doing the same, trying to do the same thing that our veterans are doing and all the other ones, making a fortune off of people and giving them change, and they got a mansion. <laughs> that that is the counter argument that people say. Well, the homeless people they're really not homeless, yeah. but and, but, but that, flip those side are the, of that, those are the people that's making it bad on the homeless people. And it is because they're ripping but, them off everything. But realistically, that's probably such a small percentage. I mean, yes, you got people that do take advantage of that situation and everything else. But when I when I see a mom and a two two year old child out out in the city of Chicago when it's freaking ten degrees out and they're just staying underneath a fucking a little pack and a bridge and they just got a cover on freezing. No, that ain't somebody that you know that is trying to duke the system or try to get over on. They're, they're, you know, they're trying to actually try to make something or trying to get something to keep their kids warm. 
the thing, the thing that gets me, like what you're talking about, is if I see a young man, what bothers me the most is if I see a young man in his 20s or whatever, nothing wrong with him or whatever the case may be, going out there and asking for money and everything else or whatever the case may be. Yet there may be a fucking uh, many, especially in Chicago, nothing but jobs. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I mean, believe me when I tell you, Chicago's a hotbed for fucking jobs. <laughs> Where I live in Manuka, Illinois, shit, you want a job? Pick any fucking factory you fucking want out here. Nothing but signs and everything else. Get your happy ass to work. The youth of America today does not want to put in the hard work. They want shit given to them. And that's why that kind of shit happens. Because they don't know how to stand up for their rights. They don't know go ahead and tell the government and everything else, fuck you. And the only way your shit's going to change is term limits. Period. Term limits solves all. All everything be, people may be hearing this and be like, What do you think that? What do you mean, term limits and everything will solve everything? You know why? Because they cannot make it a, a fucking whole fucking career, fucking the American people. They're only going to be able to have eight years to fuck me in my ass and then get the fuck out. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm just saying, I mean, point blank. I mean, term limits will solve fucking everything. But I think it needs to be a shorter term limits, like four years. All right, I'm down with that too. I'm down with that. Because if you go wait, they can fuck up a lot of shit in eight years. You're right. You're you're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. I mean, you give someone uh, like even if it was four years or whatever, and believe it or not, when they're going to leave out, they're going to be a million years anyway because oh, yeah. they're getting paid off. They're getting paid off by the special interest groups. If special interest was not allowed to even give money into a candidate and everything else, you might see a change. But hey. Don't worry about it. I got you. While you're a candidate, we're going to have somebody donate $5 million, $10 million to you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because they go through a back channel. It's not going to come straight from the special interest, but they have other people that can manipulate the system to get the money to you for your campaigns and everything. They basically bought you for the length of time that you're inside the Congress, Senate, whatever. They get their percentage of everything else. You damn right. That's, because that's another thing I don't understand. The United States is so far in debt to all these other places, but yeah. we print our own money. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure that. Go yeah. figure that. I mean, we can print all the fucking money, but, but we can't give it to the people that really fucking need it here. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Isn't, it, isn't that a fucking head scratcher, people? Yeah, is. Isn't that a fucking head scratcher? Let's just pay um, people at the factory to print our money, but we can't help nobody with it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And like like I said, I mean, just us seeing it up on YouTube and everything else, you know, it, it kind of, everything correlates. Like up on YouTube, you got scammers on YouTube. You do. You, you have you have them out there, you know, they'll, they'll try to get with a person or get to know someone or whatever the case may be. And all of a sudden, you start hearing the long song and dance and everything. Hey, can you do this? Can you do that for me? Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? And then after a while, you're just sitting there like, I'm being chumped here, <laughs> you know, I mean, so be careful. That'll be another subject another day, yeah. but, but we're getting into the, the, the big nuts and bolts of this is with the federal government. As I said, they can do more for the people. And, and if they actually, actually stood up and had a fucking spine and everything else, like I said, I love my country. Yes, but I think my government is weak as fucking, and they are corrupt as hell, and they're easily to be bought, easily to be bought. Oh, I mean, yeah. like I said, like you said earlier, Roy, it's all about the green. That's all it's ever been about. That's yeah. all it's ever been about. Oh, yeah. yeah. It wasn't about the freedom and these wars and everything else, like they gave a fuck about the people over there fighting and everything else. What was it about? To conquer, gain more land, gain more and land. everything else. And, and for all that oil. Oh, <laughs> oh. Believe me, you, you know, it's funny you say that because they said, well, we left all that equipment over there and everything else. You realize how much fucking money that they made on that fucking war? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that equipment was wasn't is, nothing. We, have, we got oil places in the United States that hasn't even been touched yet, but they don't want to touch it. They want to hit that area and get all the oil from cross country. Now, people over there have been wanting to come over to the United States to make a better life for themselves. Why? Mm -hmm. They make more money over here. But like, like I said, a lot of the Chinese, they come over here, they can work <coughs> for three years. Most of their money, yep. why they ain't got to pay those taxes, 
get sent back home into a bank, and mm -hmm. they look like kings when they go home. It's just like that picture of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Shea Otani. Yeah. Okay, he made uh, they signed a contract, a seven hundred. I'm gonna this is gonna freak you out. It was seven hundred million dollar contract that he signed, right? But he said for the first for the first seven years, it's two million each year. Then when he leaves the Dodgers, all the money wants to be sent back to Japan. Yep. Now. Figure it out, people. Six years, that's $12 million. $700 million contract. That's $688 million that is coming out of the United States. The fans that go and pay all this ticket prices and food and everything else that these owners are making all this money, he's taking that money, which is American money here, yes. and sending it back to where his homeland is. That is fucked up because he doesn't even have, they even broke it down because I listen to a ton of sports. I love sports and everything. And they said he literally, if he goes and sends it back to Japan, he goes and goes back and lives there when his baseball career is over, he doesn't have to pay a fucking cent, not one cent of taxes because the money's being sent directly to fucking Japan. Go figure that. How, how they need because, plan. Because it's not staying in the United States. Why do you think our government sends all their money over to those places? They ain't got to worry about taxes. Not one of them. Our president and all of them sends their money to a Colombian. Yep. It's out of the United States. So when they get ready to retire or whatever, no taxes come out of it. Nothing. Nothing. And that, and that to me, that to me, I mean, just think about it. $700 million. Wouldn't have some of that taxes would have been nice to use for something that people may need here in the United States? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Go figure that. Well, see, Go I figure that. Should, doing that, I think they should double the taxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, technically, if you look at our Constitution, if you look at our Constitution, we're not even supposed to be paying that. Yeah. We're not even supposed to be paying this shit. If you look at our Constitution, look they at they it. Changed, we're not... They changed all that, so much of that in the book. I mean, hell, how much of that Constitution is still going? Mm hmm. Well, I mean, they, they, they pick and choose what they want to enforce and what they don't want to enforce what and everything else. Mm -hmm. It should be the constitution of the rich and fucking famous. That's yeah. what the fuck it should be. Seriously, because it ain't about the working man. Hell no. no. Hell no. Man's out there to work to make them rich. Keep us down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's oh, yeah. What it's about. I agree 100%. I agree 100%. And people, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button for Lunatic Froggy. Make sure you give a hell yeah for Lunatic Roy, Lunatic Dad. We are busting it down, letting you know what the hell life is really about. And don't be fooled by the fucking federal government because we ain't a clown. You don't be a clown. So don't be a part of that fucking clown show. Yep. Damn hell yeah! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Where the hell is fucking Froggy? Right. How long she, how long does she think that we're gonna go ahead and fucking record? I don't know. How long do you think we're gonna record? <laughs> Talking to you. She's about as smart as a bag of fucking rocks. What? You waiting she for what? I don't. You to come and say it's, it's all right coming in there. I just did. Didn't she hear me say hell yeah? yeah Give me know. a hell yeah. <laughs> people, people, it's not my fault. There is a clown behind the fucking curtain right now. That's <laughs> Lunatic Froggy. The clown is behind the fucking tur curtain. Not my fault. Nope. Me and Lunatic Roy, listen, if you guys got any type of comments or any type of stuff, topics you want the two old geezers to go ahead and cover or talk about, please, we are urging you, urging you to give us ideas that maybe... It might interest you because, hey, you know, we, we, we can compare uh, nowadays to our days and everything else. And believe me when I tell you, there's many, many topics. I mean, hell, we can talk about clothes, different type of clothes, different type of hairdos, different type. I mean, there's so much shit that is totally different from my mine and Roy's era and what it is now. And even in Lunatic Froggy's era, there is an actual big difference between the two. So ribbit, ribbit. Dad is down. Dad is out. Come on! Yeah! It's all yours. <laughs>